To prepare to troubleshoot a Novo XT2 commercial version or Novo XT Pro connected to a kiosk system, we first need to power off the chair and then open up the orange levers in the inline connector and disconnect the kiosk wires from the inline connector. Next, we'll open the other side of the inline connector and twist those two wires together. And then insert them into one of the sockets closest to you. It doesn't matter which one. At this point, the chair is now functioning independent of the kiosk system, and we can just follow standard procedure to troubleshoot the chair. If the chair functions normally when disconnected from the kiosk system, contact the kiosk vendor for further troubleshooting. To return the chair to commercial mode, we need to remove the twisted wires from the inline connector and then twist each end tightly. We can then insert those into the inline connector with the blue wire on the right and the green wire on the left. That's the positive wire on the right and the green on the left. Okay, then we can insert the kiosk wires into the inline connector with the red on the right and the black on the left. That's the positive wire on the right and the negative on the left. You may need to twist the ends of the wires before inserting them. Okay, once we make sure those wires are tightly seated in the connector, we can reconnect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet adapter and power on the chair, and we're set to go.